Hello, welcome to The Treasure Fox. For anyone new visiting, my name's Wendy. I sell vintage and contemporary jewelry and accessories. Uh, welcome to new subscribers and viewers. Um, I know you're probably wondering, where is the jewelry <laughs> in this video? Um, I do sell, um, aside from jewelry, I do sell accessories. So I sell bags, scarves, uh, belts, trinket dishes. So occasionally there will be other videos on this channel that are not uh, directly jewelry, uh, but all of the designers I'm mentioning in this video happen to design jewelry as well. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. And one of the reasons for this video is that I picked up a bunch of belt buckles last week and I've actually already sold two, one that I had listed for a while, but one that I just recently listed. And so I did just want to quickly do this video before I shipped um, the buckles out. Um, and, and these are definitely designers uh, to keep an eye out for. And so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first one is Assessa Craft, which I'm sure you're aware of and makes uh, beautiful jewelry. So it is a um, long kind of stretchy belt with this, I don't know how you describe this style, I guess maybe Byzantine. And it's signed, um, whoops, Assessa Craft on the back there. So, whoops. We got that and I've had this one listed for a while um, you know some belts don't move quickly it's not like they're always fast sellers but I just thought this was really pretty so we have that piece and then the majority of belts I'm going to mention are by a woman called Mimi Dien or Mimi Denisimi and so I know you're probably aware of her jewelry she makes beautiful jewelry uh, she was originally uh, from Palermo Italy she was a princess and she came over to the U.S. to study and she ended up working for um, Schiaparelli and Arnold uh, Scazzi before she started her own jewelry company. Um, she no longer makes jewelry, but her belt buckles are still being produced. So I'm gonna leave a link below to her store. And I went Googling because I was like, how old could she be now? <laughs> and she actually is in her 90s. And someone may need to kind of clarify this for me. I was a little bit confused, but when I went looking, I kept on coming across the name. I think it was Marnie. It wasn't Mimi. And I was like, was that her sister? Did her sister take over the business? Um, did, has Mimi passed? But when I found a um, New York Times article from the 1970s, it talked about her marrying a Romanoff and her name was Marnie. So I'm like, well, maybe Mimi is just uh, the, the name of the jewelry company or a nickname. I'm not really sure. I'm a, I was a little bit baffled, but anyway, I'm going with Mimi for the purposes of this video because that's what all of her jewelry is labeled. Um, so there's lots of her designs like this, which are still available now. And this is actually one of the ones I sold. It's called uh, Bamboo. And they're usually signed on the back like Mimi DN. And then they sometimes have a date like, I can't quite read that, 1974. Um, this has a little bit of plating wear, but it's in you know pretty good condition. Um, and so this is the belt strip width that you'd measure. So what's good about her website, and I think you can find these other places, is that um, she has tons of different colors and textures. So you can order, you can basically just keep out swapping out the belt and you've got like the same belt buckle, but you've got different colors of belt. So um, that's kind of an upside of these uh, different buckles. Lots of shell buckles. <laughs> so, you know, Mimi Dian, I don't think there's a date on that. So shell buckle. And then another shell buckle. This is a large one, really pretty and excellent condition, 1972. And I'm not sure like if this one, it, I think these are still av available in the store. Um, but if you were to look, I don't know if they still are produced with the same date or if that's just di the design date on there, 1972. And if you order it now, it'll still say that on her current buckles. Um, and then we have a small little shell belt here. So we've got that one. And uh, this one, which I also sold. Um, and so this is a road runner. So this is kind of a design to like look out for. Um, I don't think this is made any longer. So this one would be more collectible. As you can see, it's got a lot of plating wear. It did take a little while to sell. I've come down in price on this, um, but for a collector or somebody who likes her belts, um, this is a great piece because it is harder to find. So we've got the road runners. And then um, I like this one pineapples. So we have that. We have 1975 on there. And then this one, which is kind of like a geometric one. And I don't think this one's made anymore either. 
Um, so when you go to the shop, and I'll include the link below, you just search by belt width. I think it's like half inch, inch, inch and a half, two inches. Um, and you can see the different designs and then also order, you know, a corresponding uh, belt strip that'll work. And so we've got three more of hers here. Let's see. I love this one. This is my favorite. <laughs> it's so cute. It's little mice. Okay, I'm trying to get that. There. Okay, there. So we've got the mice, and then 1973, Mimi Dien, and kind of a stretchy belt. I think this one is so cute. Um, so we've got the mice, and then this one, uh, leopards. So I have a lot of Mimi belts, as you can tell. <laughs> I, I just come across them more often as well. So uh, silver leopards, and then this belt strip. And I don't know if this is originally hers. I think other people may produce these. But it's just really nice because you can just cut it to size. Um, so it is really convenient. So we've got that. And then this one, which I'm not sure is made anymore either. So this is kind of like a purple crocodile alligator belt and kind of a geometric design. But I think it's really pretty. I like this one. And then my last two designers are this one, Dottie Smith. I'll just put that down for a second. Uh, so this is new old stock and also a shell design. It's kind of a popular theme for belt buckles. I actually kind of prefer this one almost to Mimi's because it has a lot more kind of a definition or design to it. Um, and from uh, what I read about Dottie Smith, I think she was based in uh, Lakeville, Connecticut. Um, she designed jewelry as well, but uh, she had a men's line. I'll have to look for it. It was called Mr. Smith, where she designed like cufflinks and um, money clips and stuff. So we've got uh, Dottie Smith to look out for. And I think they're all just signed. Um, let's see. Dottie Smith on the back. I'm not sure if that's going the right way. Dottie Smith there. And then the last one and my favorite one for last and definitely the belt designer to look out for is Doreen Ryan. So this is a really beautiful, I guess I would call it wild horses. And it's signed DR, sometimes it'll be Doreen Ryan. And then it's also signed on the buckle. So uh, she designed jewelry and belt buckles, but she's really known for her belt buckles. Uh, very collectible, um, kind of inspired by animals in nature. And um, I got this at a annual clothing sale last year and it's one one of those ones where everybody goes so there's like 50 people lined up before the doors open and I usually skip the jewelry because it's the tables aren't that big and everybody heads to the jewelry I go to the scarves bags and belt buckles and I'm in this tub looking through belts and I kind of see this wild belt buckle and I was like oh that one's really cool and I go to grab it and then there's this other resell he's like oh my gosh that's fabulous who is that and um so I'm, I'm glad I got this belt so it's really pretty so that is Doreen Ryan so that is a little bit about uh belt buckles and so uh, as I mentioned I will include all the links uh well to Mimi's store but there's also a really great website called Nesvet or the kaleidoscope effect which I'm sure you've already visited but they do company histories on all the different vintage jewelry companies. She's done a really great job cataloging them with images and background information. So I'm going to include links to each one of these designers. So all of that will be in the description below. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, uh, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you very soon. And I will be back with jewelry in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.